the Search Chemistry channel. I'm first of all going to apologise for the very long break from YouTube. Um, I know I did tr say that I'll try and upload regularly, but again, my college work and uh, I've been also been sick uh, as well, so it's not you guys. You can tell from my voice, I was trying to recover and then do it. But thank you for waiting patiently. And um, due to popular request, I have been asked to uh, teach organic chemistry. Now, organic chemistry is, well, quite simply, um, for me as a Lean Research student, it was quite scary uh, because this are the things that I used to see. These are the things that I used to see and I'm like, how am I ever going to make sense of that? How am I going to memorize this and learn this off? So uh, this video would be uh, somewhat of a confidence booster for all of you, I do hope. Now, before we start, what even is organic chemistry? Organic chemistry, according to chemistry, is the study of compounds of carbon, specifically carbon. Now, whenever we think of uh, organic in our daily life, we might be thinking of, let's say, fruits and vegetables, right? which which does make sense because the original idea behind uh, the word organic was that it is anything that is derived from plants and animals okay so i'm just gonna say animals okay you get the point uh it was derived from plants and animals now uh for the longest time ever that was the definition but then um Let's say, so when I say plants and animals, I mean, example, methane, um, coal, um, and all of them stuff that, um, that might have animal and plant matter um, that breaks down and has created into new formations of carbon, is what I mean. So that was the original idea behind organic. But then, a German scientist, whose name I'm going to try and pronounce, Right, so a German chemist called Friedrich Wuhler, I hope I said that right, Friedrich Wuhler, he found out that urea, urea is a compound that is biological, that is found in urine, right? So until uh, 1828, they thought that urea can only be made using urine. So, because it is biological, it is organic. But then, Friedrich Wuhler found out that this can be synthesized artificially. That is, it can be made artificially. So that gave a whole new meaning uh, to organic, and that's how we have this new definition that uh, organic chemistry is a study of compounds of carbon. So don't forget that when you're um, answering the question of what is organic chemistry. It's not about it being biological, it's all about it being the study of carbon. Now that you know the gist of organic chemistry, it is also important to remember there are exceptions in chemistry, as always. All right, uh, In life we have exceptions as well, so just like that we have chemical exceptions. So some compounds like CO2, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, um, and some carbon salts are not considered organic. I did say all compounds like organic chemistry is a study of carbon, but that doesn't mean all compounds made of carbon are organic. They're not. Okay, so these will be called inorganic. So do keep that in mind, that is an exception. Uh, but that's not something to worry about uh, for now. Continuing on, as you can imagine, carbon is something that can bond with a lot of chemicals. Um, a lot of elements, excuse me. So the possibilities of organic compounds are, well, in the millions. It is just so many, so many. I can't even mention all of them. There's so many. Organic chemistry, as fun it is, it is as much as important in our lives. Organic chemistry is so important for our lives because there's fuels, medicines, detergents, and so many more products that are made with organic chemistry. And especially for us in Ireland, 
Um, our pharmaceutical companies are so important and it is one of the biggest in the world. So pharmacy uh, is relating to organic chemistry and that adds to the economy of Ireland as well. So that is important to keep in your mind. Now let's talk about one of uh, a type of organic uh, compound and that is called hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon. What is hydrocarbon? As the word suggests, hydrocarbon, hydro standing for hydrogen, and carbon for carbon. So, in short, hydrocarbons are compounds that have carbon and hydrogen only. Keyword only. Please do not forget to say only. That will lose you marks if you don't say only. Okay, now, hydrocarbons are everywhere, really. I know I've said that a lot. That, that shows the importance of, of this organic chemistry. It's everywhere, literally everywhere. Um, so, common sources of hydrocarbons would be your fuels. Excuse me. Your fuels. Specifically, things like methane, uh, your petrol, um, your crude oil, so that would be petroleum. And uh, some common things would be your petroleum jelly. Ooh, I don't know if I can say the brand word. Okay, it's okay. Vaseline, petroleum jelly. Okay, so these are all very common household things that we use. And these are all examples of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are divided into three groups. Okay, now these are the ones that confuse people the most. Number one, alkanes. Number two, alkenes. And finally, number three are alkynes. Sounds very similar, but they are different. And if you don't understand the difference, that's your marks gone. I know I'm saying that a lot, your marks gone. But honestly, just a spelling mistake could be where your H1 or your H2 lies. So be careful about that. Now, I could make a detailed video about alkanes, alkynes, and alkenes. And uh, depending on your request, please do let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you're finding this useful so far, please like and subscribe to the channel so that I, I can keep on making videos. Um, so, alkenes, alkynes, and alkanes, I'll be mentioning these in the next video. I know this video is rather short than the other ones, but I thought I should um, give you a little head start and say these are the ones that are going to come up because I don't want to, I don't want to put you guys all um, to just search other videos and in case you don't watch the video to the end, you may not see all of these. So this is where I'm going to stop. I know this video is shorter, but this gives you a quick uh, guideline or an introduction to what organic chemistry is in short and it's good to know so i hope you all will do well in your exams wherever you are and in fifth year or sixth year and i wish you the very best of luck and i will upload the next video as soon as possible thank you for listening bye <laughs>